Yeah, only because Mario caught them slacking off. <laughs> Literally dead. Caught between two rocks. Yes, and it looks like we need to help Mario out now. All right, so purple rescue toads. Ah, uh, commence, commence operations. Step it up. Oh boy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're on, Mario. Um, I don't exactly know what you want me to do here, but okay. I guess I will jump. And hey, check it out. Mario's awesome. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We will stay here for the rest of days. So now we should be able to scale the cliff. Cool. I was hoping you guys would give me like a sweet new ability, but that's all right. Captain! Excellent. So let's go up here and hopefully get the 100%. I can't think of a whole lot else that I would have missed here, but we've got ourselves a nice toad that we can save. It was apparently hanging on by dear life. Oh, Mario, you restored my color. Thanks so much. We gotta run. Places to be. Good luck. That's it. You're not going to do anything neat for me? Damn it. That is quite disappointing. Uh, nothing else back over here. And is there anything on top of this? If I can... I don't even know where this is in relation. Oh yeah, I guess a little farther. That's okay. There's probably a thing there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go collect this fire extinguisher by pulling hard. And we'll go ahead and give that thing a good squeeze, baby. <laughs> Ah, you got fire extinguisher. Exhales a torrent of CO2 that can quell any flame. Awesome, thank you so much. But let's get out of here. I'm done. Awesome, so that's like three mini stars in five minutes. Except for all the cutting and, I don't know, exposition and continuation of plot that we've had to deal with. Well, you've done it, and we should probably think about wrapping up here pretty soon. Just so I don't lose any more footage, because that would be really unfortunate. But, we've got some paint in the indigo area. Awesome. And we 100%ed it, so that's fantastic. I'm going to have to look around the underground, but that's three levels that we've 100 percented. We've also got the blue bay that we still need to return to, eventually. And I don't even know if we can get that right now, but we'll see in the future. For now, before heading off to the Crimson Gate in the upper right corner, let's go to Port Prisma, and um, there's a couple of things we need to do here. That is probably going to be great. And then we can head off to our first real major area, which is awesome, because that's like a huge mainstay of Mario games, I'd like to think. So, let's head over here. I'm not sure if we really should buy any more cards we have quite a lot of money and even if we wanted to get more you know things ringed out by the ringer um, it wouldn't necessarily be a horrible idea so I'm not too worried about that but I mean if we want to get a couple extra uh, shoes and things like that um, how many do I have let's see uh, I have 84 cards okay maybe not maybe not I'm not using quite as many as I need to be We'll hold off for now. We should probably use a lot of our bigger items more frequently. I know I'm just going for really just the boots and the hammers a lot. I'm not using like the eek hammer or anything. So that's something I should probably work on. But if we head over here... Oh, you! Wow, that sign is really straight now. Like, really straight! Okay, I guess you said that before. So here's the happy toad. Um, nothing really came. I, I forgot to talk to the guy back at Ruddy Road. But nothing really comes of doing this business for him. Hey Mario, thanks again for helping me set up here. It's way more exciting than my old location. Cool. So he's going to say we're his favorite regular, yet charge us ridiculous prices for the same things as before. So uh, I don't want to worry about it. Mr. Mr. Mail Toad, uh, what's the latest story? Just let's hear it. It's probably something about the Crimson Tower. Yep, get closed. Weird keys needed. Weird keys? What the heck are weird keys? <laughs> I'll tell you a thing or two about weird keys, my good my good friend. So, let's go back over here. What do you have to say? Sp okay, the blue district. Pretty decent card shop. Okay, well... Hmm. The water wheel, the tourist is just up the stairs. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder where that 1% is. I'm curious. It's probably somewhere really obvious. But, um... Oh, this blue toad! Hey, I want to speak to you. If you can unlock all the banners, Port Prism will look way cooler. Okay, so I accidentally talked to this guy off screen. But he said he's the bannersmith maker of Port Prisma, and what he does is um, allows us to check 
our in-game progress through each of these banners. For example, title question question question, perform 200 excellent attacks. Right now we've only gotten 80, but we're literally like 10% through the game, so there's that. And eventually, once we unlock everything that uh, pertains to these things, such as all of the cutouts, every single one, then we'll be able to get Poor Prisma to 100%. I don't know exactly what happens when this occurs. I'm sure somebody's probably definitely done it by now, but for those curious, those are here and uh, available for your amusement. So, paper, <laughs> rock, paper, wizards. Yeah, that'll be for the future. So, we shall head um, over here to the right. Yeah, I think we're about ready to end off here. I have to go to work in like half an hour, which sucks. Oh wait, never mind, 40 minutes. We're still good. Okay, so down over here, how's it going? Here's the latest rescue squad info. I'm not currently in contact with all the leaders out in the field. Okay, <laughs> remind them to report in. I guess I'll do that. But for now, back to the dojo we go, because that man who took our cards and taught us how to do the whole replay thing, or whatever, uh, he is just hanging out over here. You want to use some of your kung fu moves to the test, good sir? So suddenly appeared and he won't get out of the way! <laughs> Creepy! Creepy is right. Uh, hey. Ah, Mr. Mario, how splendid that you had the good sense to entertain my offer. Follow me, please. This is sketchy. Um, okay. Wait, a secret door? What's with all this high-tech stuff just sitting around in a crummy storage room? This is weird, Mario, but I think it could be good weird. Is there such thing as good weird? I don't know. I find it difficult to believe, but I guess we'll <laughs> we'll do it. <sighs> sketchy, man. Also, I dropped my stylus, so it was great. Ah, <sighs> interesting. I've spent long years of my life designing and constructing this place in order to document the history and culture of Prism Island. Welcome, friends, to a little place that I like to call... Prisma Museum. That's right, an underground museum! This must be one of those super snobby art places no one knows about. Au contraire, my friend. My mission is to make our collection as accessible as possible. Even a common underground art student should... or undergraduate art student should be able to appreciate it. There's just one tiny thing! I don't actually have anything to display as of yet. Wow, okay, so you're literally being Animal Crossing right now. So, yes, he will allow us to donate unique cards to the cause of completing this museum to 100%. And, um, yeah, it'll be nice to visit the museum when I'm old and reminisce about our adventure. Cool. Splendid! I knew I could count on somebody with such fine taste in battle cards. So it'd be like the weirdest museum of all time. <laughs> so it'll give us the grand tour. The three blue doors in front of us are card galleries displaying battle cards. From left to right, we've got basic cards, enemy cards, and thing cards. Depending on what we decide to give to him, he will allow it to be displayed on a monument and on a giant wall in the room. And it's good stuff. So this probably would be a good time to donate just a bunch of cards. Also, we've got the art exhibit. The more cards you donate, the more pieces we'll be able to add to each exhibit. Finally, the green door is the sound exhibit. Oh man, I love this one so much. So, it's the sound room, but to unlock any sounds from any particular area, you need to 100% it and by completely repainting courses. So, cool. I can't thank you enough for your assistance. Take care. No, you take care, good sir. My, my, you've been busy with the old paint hammer, haven't you? Well, don't think we haven't noticed. So, they've got some records for the sound gallery, which is excellent, and if I speak to you... Let's check your donations. Okay, so we have a lot to do here. Aside from that, we have <laughs> no artwork, but some records, so... Thanks again for your help, old sport. So, if we went ahead in here and give them a couple of our battle cards, it'll tell us exactly which ones in our inventory we can donate, so it's not really nearly as long-winded as the uh, Animal Crossing one, where if you give him a fossil, and what's his face, Mr. Hoot, whatever his name was, he's just like, Ooh, I think we have this one, but thank you so much. So, cards you've donated can be viewed on the big display in the center. And I do plan on hopefully 100%ing the gallery. I mean, that's going to be our main course of action. So, we can give him just one of each, I guess. So, we'll, we'll do... Excuse me, there's one, and this will just take one out of each in our inventory, so once we do this, we'll never have to do it again. 
But we'll just give them a bunch. We need to clear out our inventory anyways because I need to buy some stuff and there's just way too many things I have in there. So also we don't have to worry about paint either. So there's the blaze hammer. It's KO. Uh, do we even want the worn out jump? Yes. I'm just worried. We haven't... We've had these two since the beginning of the game or I guess I already sent up the double jump but the big jump and then the line jump. So that's all we can do right now. But we just gave him like 15 right there so... That's a pretty good contribution, if you ask me. <laughs> and then I don't think the the ringer one I want to save for much later, just because I don't want to come back and we'll just have a lot of money to buy all the ringer stuff later. Plus we have we got lemon and fire extinguisher and we'll need those. So how do you do, sir? The enemy card gallery. So something again that I don't really use too frequently, but something eventually I'd like to. So yeah. Oh, didn't I have a Koopa Troopa? I could have sworn I did. But we have a red shy guy, green shy guy, and the swoop. And there we go. So, very handy. And this is stuff I will probably do off screen along with some card management in my inventory. Don't need to worry too much about that now. But still something we'll deal with in the future. And we'll head in here. Just, I don't think we have anything, do we? Yeah, nothing. We're schmucks. We have not donated enough. <laughs> so, yeah. The more cards we donate, the more we can use to display the artwork. It's very pretty, but unfortunately... Yeah, sorry state of affairs indeed. I guess you can say it's a sorry state of art fairs, right? I don't know. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. And by that, I really just... I'm gonna go to work and then fall asleep there. Probably. It's gonna be a long night, but... We'll see. I still need to edit so many episodes. Everything beyond episode 5 is completely unedited still, so that's not good. Uh, but the sound gallery. Welcome, this is the sound gallery. Each time you finish completely repainting the color spots on a course, we'll get your hands on more priceless recordings. Cool. So this is kind of interesting, but again, you have to stay in a static position while listening to it. You can't do anything else. You have to sit right here. But we can look at all these cool things like Cherry Lake, Ruddy Road, Daffodil Peak. Oh, man. I guess we'll do... Yeah, Ruddy Road's probably the best one. And we'll do it. Oh, the music in this game. I'm really glad that they put a little bit more emphasis on collecting things in order to unlock special things like this. Mario is so, so engaged with the music, he's gonna file, fall asleep. What about the Shy Vandals? Oh my God. <laughs> this sounds like it could fit in perfectly with Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> Very rare-esque. But, um, I think we're done here. So that just about does it for the uh, Underground Art Museum. Uh, we'll be showing off a couple of these here and there. I'm sure there's not really a whole lot of reason for me to go here on screen very frequently unless there's been a major breakthrough in things. Uh, nothing else for this slight little toad friend. Got some Cheetos puffs all over ya. And wait, actually there's one last thing I want to do before we end things off and it's probably the most depressing thing in this entire game is this purple toad that we met a very long time ago. <sighs> Mario, this here is an important spot for me and my five best friends. Back in the day, the six of us used to gather here to play, tell jokes, sing songs, eat ice cream, you name it. We were the six best friends anyone ever did see, but eventually we all got busy with our own lives and we drifted apart. And then out of nowhere, I get this letter from one of my friends. The flowers bloom in our old meeting spot, I'm certain we'll meet again. It was my old friend Piper who sent me the letter. He never said much, but he had the most magnetic personality. You couldn't help but love him. But it wasn't just a letter that he sent me, there was something else in the envelope. A seed! I'm gonna try planting the seed here in our old hangout. Said when its flowers bloom, we'll all be able to meet here again. I figure it's worth a shot. Ah, so good. Oh man, so I really hope they get to meet together again in their old hangout. Cool, here, let me help. There we go. 
Get some coins out of that. Nothing a little bit of paint won't be able to help. So, yeah, that just about does it for our time here in Prisma Port. Next time on Paper Mario Color Splash, I think we're going to have ourselves a good deal of fun and eventually do some nonsense pertaining to the Crimson Tower, I'm thinking. Does that sound alright to you guys? There's going to be... Ooh, man, you guys are not going to see this for a while. I'm doing one episode a day, just so that I'm giving myself a little bit of extra cushion time for, like, editing and stuff, um, because I've been pretty busy. So, not a whole lot of time is... It? There it was! There it was! God damn it. That was the 100% right there. And, um... What was I even talking about? Yeah, just... Amongst other things, I've just been busy with a whole bunch of of stuff in my personal life and I'm sure not a whole lot of people care since these videos already don't get a lot of viewers or coverage or anything so I hope for those of you who are really interested in watching don't mind but one video a day should be enough to suffice but um I will see you guys back here again tomorrow for quite possibly good better tire tight tidings and um life will be good all right my name is Allison Cruz and I will see you guys next time at the Gate to Crimson Tower. Oh boy. 4%. Ugh.